I'm at Comic Con with Eddie Munster, known as Butch Patrick. How's it feel coming out here today? Or Butch Patrick, known as Eddie Munster. <laughs> it's, great, yeah. it's great either way. Now, uh, you've been in a lot of roles. So people don't, uh, some people don't know that you were actually in General Hospital. The first year I was on the air, I was a seven-year-old kid. This was my first interview, and I landed General Hospital. It was pretty funny. It was good training, actually. And then later on, you got to be on the Munsters. Yep. And in between the Munsters, I did the Real McCoys for a year. And then I did the Munsters, and I worked from 61 to 72 a lot. I want to talk. You did an episode of I Dream a Genie. Did you yeah. get to work with Larry Hagman? Yeah. That, that, the episode was about me and Larry Hagman mostly. Uh, she wrote a book and put she wrote a book, put his name on it. So we played like a, supposedly a child psychologist, and I played Dr. Bellows' horrible nephew that he was trying to uh, fix. Did you guys have any fun off the set or during breaks with him? Do you remember? Not too much. I was in school during breaks, and you know he's an adult. I'm a kid, but on camera we had a lot of fun. Did you get to stay friends with him throughout? Or, no. Um, in Hollywood, you know, when you're a kid actor, you know, you just do your job and you go on your way and you go home and you do your thing. So you don't really, you really build friendships as a child. You may run into them later in life. Now you were also on uh, the Monkees for an episode. That was a great one. Yeah, the Monkees. Now you and me uh, both have something in common. We're both Beatles fans, but I know the Beatles visited the Munsters. On one of the sick, could you talk about that? Yeah, they came out one day, I wasn't there, and then they, I think what the story was is the security for the Beatles was so tight that they had them stay uh, in dressing rooms at the Universal Studios for security reasons. I had a huge dressing room next to Marlon Brando because it was also my school room, and I believe Ringo stayed in my dressing room. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I understand we both love classic cars, yeah. and then you buy and sell them. Can you tell about some of the newest ones you've acquired? Well, I acquired the Munster Coach and the Dragula. Uh, right now, I used to send them to Australia, but the, the market kind of dropped out of it. But um, you know, right now, I actually got a Mercedes. <laughs> but I'm looking, I'm looking to get another Mach One, and I'm getting, I'm going to get another Corvette, and I'm kind of looking for a '70 Firebird 400 because I used to own those cars, and I would like to sort of uh, nab onto a few of those. And we're both Mustang fans. So I still have my first Mustang. Do you really? Uh -huh. Mine's a, mine's a '66. Oh yeah, my first car was a '69 Mach One. First car. All right. Uh, if, uh, do you have any charities that you're associated with or people can find out or donate to? Yeah, actually, this is my brand new charity. It's called ScareItForward.org. We're going to make public domain horror movies the old-fashioned way. Uh, we're going to give them away to people on Roku, on you know, on the new Wi-Fi channels. And then I also do Make-A-Wish occasionally and Surfrider Foundation to save the oceans. Now, we're at Comic-Con. Are you going to be here all three days? Yes, sir. All right, people can find you. You get here Friday from 1 to 7, Saturday 10 to 7, and Sunday 10 to 5. Uh, now, before, whenever I end the interviews, is there anything you would like to ask me? You know, try to change it up a little bit? Oh, okay, Jeremy. What uh, what got you into broadcasting and doing interviews? Oh, I mostly do, do photography, but I got into it by accident, and then I just something I've enjoyed ever since. Yes. People are really friendly, nice to talk to. Yeah, and who, you do a lot of research? Yes. You try to make yourself prepared? Mm -hmm. You yep. did. You did good. Well done, sir. Would you mind if we got a few photos with you? Sure. Uh, it's going to be in two days. Hey, Brian, happy birthday, fellow Leo. My birthday was August 2nd.